here with we are with the new UI um, and a few new features that we're going to go over today. Uh, well, tonight the um, we've got we've got most importantly what I'm looking at is the average speed camera. Uh, you can see um, just up here we've got the, the the map that shows the two cameras here uh, that are that are on the highway. They're I think it's about 15 k's apart. Uh, we're going to test out the new functionality, which I've been really excited to have as some feature somewhere, uh, whether it be Google Maps or somewhere, to keep an actual average speed uh, between the cameras, because the odd time you stop, you get stuck behind a truck, something like that, and, um, and then you want to know what your average speed actually is at the end, or you pass a truck, right, and you want to know, you, you want to make sure you didn't actually exceed your average speed, so... Here we are, we're gonna give it a try. We're going to uh, hopefully get behind a truck or something that we can, maybe I'll stop once, um, <clears throat> and then and then, and then then restart to simulate, you know, having to let the kids take a leak or something like that. And uh, we'll go from there. So here we are entering the average speed camera section. Adaptive high beams doing their job. And let's see what we see here. We're gonna start that average calculator there, and we got a GPS measured average speed app that I'm utilizing. You'll see my average speed is set to 111 here. My max speed set to 111 because um, I found that it's one kilometer an hour off. I guess just a bit of tire wear over the last. 25,000 Ks is uh, is affecting the, the the precision of the speed. Um, so here we go, settling in. Now I do see it's popped up here. Average remaining kilometers, 17 kilometers. Average speed 110. So let me try and lane change here. Oh, it's not going to let me lane change, is it? No, it's not going to auto lane change. Typical fashion. So disengage, change lanes, re-engage. Now we've got an average of 109. And we'll just show you that a little closer. Yeah, we'll just go a little And you've got oh sorry about that. Alright, let's see how we go. Midway through the average speed zone here, we've got 8.7 kilometers left, 8.6. Average speed, interestingly, has been 109. My average speed GPS says 109.9 is what we're doing and what our average is. But interestingly, I've got it set to 111, which makes me hypothesize that the average speed is actually a GPS speed, much like my phone and not based on the wheel speed, which is, has been set to 111 since I started the average speed zone, except for that brief little disengagement uh, to touch under the speed limit to get out of the passing lane, for which we're in the second now. So, uh, I'm going to slow down for a bit. I'm actually gonna pull over, I'm gonna stop, simulate uh, a kid stop or a rest stop, and then see if that clears or what and see how it affects my average speed and of course I'll be coming back through this area again so I can redo anything if I need to now how fancy is that I pulled over I put it into park of course the driving screen goes away into the standard park screen uh, well the new park screen then I, I, I whack it back and drive, I pull onto the road, and the average speed restarts. Um, it's now the average is 199, it says average. Here it's saying 100.3 is my average on my phone's GPS. Um, oops, I accidentally hit reset. I was trying to just keep the screen awake, but now is it gonna ding? Waiting for the average speed camera ding, which is coming up. I didn't hear it, but it might have been because I was talking. That's a nasty habit of mine. 
So, um, and then the average speed menu here, the, the extra indicators have cleared uh, with my average speed there being 100. So it does include your parked time and, and the timer keeps running even when you're parked, um, just like the phone GPS does. So um, that's, uh, that's just a brilliant feature. Uh, if you overtake, if you pull over, you'll know what your average speed is coming up through the average speed camera section. And of course, uh, guesswork is not great in average speed cameras. They are uh, potentially uh, uh, accurate to many decimal places, um, depending on how they surveyed it and how accurate their clock is. So uh, yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy with the new UI. And now I'm, I'm turning around to go back the other way, but you've, of course, you can pull over and get your standard menu. Uh, it's, it's, it's not a lot changed there. What else is new? The adaptive high beams, um, the, uh, the, the driving menu and the parked menu. Um, there's, a, there's a few other new little features. The chime for the speed cameras. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. I, I haven't been flashed by maybe one semi. Uh, and, and when you're coming over a hill, of course, it doesn't see the top of the lights of the semi and drop the high beams. It waits until it sees the bottom headlights, which of course is natural, but it means it does glare the driver before it recognizes the, the lights. Like that driver ahead of me right now has reduced his high beams seeing my lights coming over the horizon but uh, the this car doesn't lower them in anticipation of someone coming over the hill which is which is a, a slight drawback but I'm sure that can be changed so I'll flick around I'm not actually going to the airport here in Wakery but I'll flick around and uh, estimate 27% back at home catch you next time